Hey there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Play Sing. Hi! Hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, evening, morning, overnight, all of that good stuff. Thanks so much for checking out this video and today I have for you my most recent finish to share with you. So I wanted to do a little finish and review this poor, poor canvas um, has been moved from one house to another and stored not the best and just covered in Apollo hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is one hairy canvas. I'm gonna have to clean this up before I completely finish working on it. And we'll talk a little bit about that towards the end. But um, yeah, so I guess let's dive right into it. Without further ado, let's take a look at my most recent finish. This is Astronomer by Miles Pinkney and Diamond Art Club. Okie dokie. Well, there it is. I have to I have to keep the camera zoomed out quite a bit because this is a large canvas. Oh my goodness. But I am so excited to finally see it finished. This is kind of my first time taking a, a good look at it in its entirety because, because, because it's so large, I had to work on it in small sections and I haven't really actually like fully laid out the completed canvas until today. So this is awesome. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and cover some details as far as sizing and all that good stuff. This is a 105 by 70 centimeter square drill canvas with 66 colors. And one, two, three, four, looks like four ABs. So um, that's kind of what came with the kit. And then I added my own little stuff to it as well, but we'll cover that. Um, so yeah, this is... This was an awesome project to work on. It was a lot of fun. It was a little bit more time consuming than I I was anticipating and planning for, but I think in the end it turned out really good. I did this kit for the Astronomer Paint Along 2024 that Mia over at Mia's Life with KFS um, hosted for January and February, but this took me longer than that. Um, so I started this kit on January 1st and I finished it on March 19th. So um, almost three months to complete, but it is done and I think it looks really good. As far as the pros go, this is another Diamond Art Club kit, so everything went really, really well. Um, canvas quality was fantastic. The glue on the canvas was super sticky, didn't run into any issues with that. And for the most part, the drills were really, really nice. Um, this kit was um, a re-release from when it was released originally, and the re-release came with some di some upgraded drills or some new drills. So this had a mix of Diamond Art Club's older, um, I think it was like 13 facet drills, I can't remember, but then they bumped it up to some even higher faceted drills, which is what they're currently using for their square drills. So you have some old and some new in here, and I really liked working with the newer drills. Um, I found them to place really nicely, and they just fit in my multi-placer a little bit more cleanly than the older drills. Um, it was just, for whatever reason, I have a better I diamond paint easier with the new drills, which is good to see. Um, they have even more facets and almost look like little pyramids. And those what um, those new drills, they have more of a shimmery effect as opposed to some more definitive light refraction. So I'm, I really like the effect. It, it gives it a little bit more glisten and sparkle than you typically see. I'm curious to see what a br all new kit with all new drills will look like in comparison to this because this has a mix. So yeah, I really, really like it. Um, so as far as anything I noticed, like cons or struggles I had, I really didn't have any. The only thing that I did notice is sometimes the 310 uh, drills were a little bit more wonky than I would have liked. They still, I wouldn't consider them trash, but some of them were just not perfect squares. So when I'd go to multi-place with them, they just weren't, they just wouldn't sit 
perfectly on the multi-placer, but once, they're, once they were down on the canvas, it was fine. And I'll insert a picture of the trash that I did have with this kit. It was pretty minimal. So um, yeah, no real issues there, just nitpicky things that I noticed. The other thing that I did struggle with a little bit is for whatever reason, the ABs on this canvas, and not all of them, it was mainly AB131 and AB101. Um, those two, the ABs were really sticking together in the tray. So I'd shake my tray through, get them all nice and lined up. And if I went to go pick up one, like single place, uh, an AB drill, two more would kind of get stuck and kind of flip around and flop around or get pulled around. So it was a little frustrating trying to multi-place um, any areas that had ABs because it was really hard to get a nice line of them in my tray and they were always flipping upside down and doing weird things. So that was, I, I haven't really experienced that too much with Diamond Art Club's ABs, but I have seen it in maybe one or two other Diamond Art Club kits where the ABs were just a little bit more fussy in the tray than I would have liked. But once again, that is very nitpicky. It wasn't the end of the world. I can just say that by the time I got to the end of working on this kit, I was ready to be done working with ABs. <laughs> it's just like, oh, these are just a little fussy. But I think overall, they look they look really great and how they're charted on the canvas. So that was really the only only couple of things that I ran into. Otherwise, this entire process was really smooth. Um, the rendering of this, uh, this canvas or this kit, I think was fantastic. This is a very detailed kit, one of the more detailed projects that I have personally ever worked on. And so it was a little bit of more time consuming through, through certain areas quite a bit of line blocking when we get into the curtains or his cape here into some of the curtain areas quite a bit of line blocking you can see a lot kind of here and down through here but i was able to work through it pretty fast it does have a good mix in my opinion of confetti and color blocking obviously a lot of this detail work is a ton of confetti but then you do get a decent amount of color blocking through the cape here through some of this um this track here, and then definitely through the night sky, there's a decent amount of color blocking. So it's a good mix. It keeps things moving and grooving, but it also keeps your interest as well. I, in particular, really liked working on this area here and then working on the cape, the wizard's cape. So that was a lot of fun. The actual um, telescope and kind of the contraption here was also fun to work on. Pretty much all of it was fun to work on. It was just more time consuming than I was, I guess I was anticipating. I was like, oh, I'll be able to get this done in a month and a half, still within the event, and it took almost twice as long as that. So, um, but yeah, I really like this. Um, the last thing that I want to touch, touch on is I did a number of enhancements to this kit, and this was my first time using the sparklers for squares from uh, DP with sparklers, so I'll kind of point out where those are included. So I replaced DMC uh, 3765, which was serial number 54 for this kit, with the DP with sparklers, sparklers for squares, and those are in Capri Blue. And you're gonna see those just here in this little area. Um, you're gonna see them quite a bit in the sky here, or in the night sky, that blue kind of crystal looking sparkler. There's a little bit outlining here here and here as well. So I really like how those just brought a little bit of interest to the night sky. Then I replaced DMC uh, 782 serial number 35 with the sparklers for squares in antique gold. And there's quite a bit of those um, all throughout here in the telescope here, some detailing here. There's also some more, um, where are those again? Um, here in this area here in the wizard's cape, this detailing ended up being that gold as well. Um, so it's just kind of scattered throughout the canvas. There's a little bit up here in this lantern and in some of in these candles as well. So just changed change it up a little bit and just threw some gold detailing there. Um, because this kit has a lot of confetti and the colors are kind of blended throughout the canvas, um, the enhancements, the way I did it for the most part was just anywhere that DMC was, I just replaced it with the sparkler. So sometimes 
they're just like little teeny tiny patches where that color would have been, but I think it adds a little bit of interest. Um, I There is, yeah, a block of them right here when I was working on that piece. There's this little block of them. I was like, oh, I don't know how, the, how I feel about how that looks, but I think it turned out overall just fine. Um, there's little bits of them here, here, here as well. Moving on, um, I replaced DMC 913, which was serial number 43, with the uh, sparklers for squares in Moonstone. And the majority of those are all in this detailing right here, all in this kind of wood or metal detailing. And then here through this gear, there's a bunch of them. And then I believe we might have a couple more snuck in. That might be the majority of them. Yeah, just over over on that area. So I think those look really good. Add, add a little bit of interest in detail. It's not super duper noticeable, but I like the extra sparkle that they provide. Moving on, I replaced DMC 606, which was serial number 25 with the sparklers for squares in Coral Reef. You're gonna see those here in the contraption as well, or kind of in the assembly there. You're gonna also find them up in the curtains here at the top. There's some little uh, wisps of them throughout the curtains. So that's where those ended up. And then we also had DMC 470. Um, I replaced that, oh, that's serial number 20. I replaced that with the sparklers for squares in moss. And those are majority going to be found in the this kind of galaxy sky, like shooting star piece here. There's a little bit of some moss detailing there. Um, I'm trying to think of where else those popped up. Very minimal for those. Da, da, da. I think that might be the only area is up there um, in that kind of greenish hue. So yeah, that's kind of all of all of the enhancements that I did sparklers for squares. Now, in addition to that, um, I went ahead and replaced, um, it was DMC 317, serial number 11, which was a sil silver color. I replaced that with um, some square metallics that I had. I don't know where I got these square metallics. It might've been DP with sparklers, but I don't remember. But they're here, a little bit here, here, and then there's a chunk of them. Um, where's that chunk? Oh, over next to the wizard's head, there's a little bit here too. So just highlighting that silver color a little bit. Um, there's a, a big old chunk of them here as well. So um, when it comes to those, in retrospect, I might have just left them as silver, but I uh, the original color, but I had them laying around. I think it adds a little bit of kind of a metallic look to everything, to certain areas, and... It's fine. Once again, because the colors are just a, a very patchy and kind of confetti throughout, I didn't exactly know where they were going to go when I started working on the canvas. I just looked at the color itself. I was like, oh, I'll just replace that with the silver. So I might have left that, but I think it looks fine because it's it's so minimally placed. It adds just a little highlighting, I think. Um, again, I went ahead and replaced just on the wizard's glasses, I went ahead and replaced what was supposed to be a brown with a deep kind of pewter metallic. So it's a little bit deeper than the silver, just as glasses, which I thought was kind of cute. And then um, I also replaced his little buttons that were coming down his coat here. Um, I replaced all of those with the big um, squares, the large square drills from DP with sparklers. So they take up the space of four drills. And those are just once again in that kind of pewter metallic. So they're kind of raised up higher. They're they're thicker than a normal drill. So I just ran those here. I had these left over from Soul of the Rose um, that I did for Summer with the Masters 2022. I had these left over, so I went ahead and just popped them in there and I think they look really good. And then a um, couple last things that I did, I went ahead and added large round drills for, um, for this kit, and those are also from DP with sparklers. These are round drills, but they take up the space of four drills, um, similar to these, but in round. So I just kind of scattered those throughout the night sky, um, just tried to strategically place them so it looked a little bit um, random, but also even. And so those are raised as well, and they actually glow in the dark. Um, you do have to charge them, and it's bright daylight right now, so I won't be able to show you, but um, I just kind of placed them where I thought it made the most sense, like here, 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 like just throughout. 
and then some more on that side. And finally, um, anywhere in the night sky, I guess maybe I did it everywhere. Um, I did completely replace that. So um, instead of using the AB141, which is a white AB, anywhere that was charted, I replaced it with a glow drill. So all of the little stars in the night sky are all glow drills. The uh, birds have one in each eye as well. Um, but there's some more over here and then coming up here. All of those are glow drills. So I think when these this is charged, the night sky is going to have lots of specks of glowing and then the bird's eyes will be glowing as well, which I thought would be kind of cool. So yeah, that's that's everything. This was a blast to work on. This is my 41st finish um, overall, and I believe my fourth finish of the year. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, 41st finish overall, fourth of the year. So <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really excited. Um, so what I need to do now is go through and pick out all the <laughs> Apollo hair as best I can. And then I'm gonna paint the border. And this is actually a gift for my old roommate. When he saw me working on this, he was like, of all the diamond paintings that you've done, this is one that I would, I would hang up and I would display. He really liked it. So um, I'm gonna get this painted ideally today and try to get it to him at some point this week. But yeah, this was a fun project to work on. I'm really glad to see it kind of all finished because it really comes together and there's just so much to look at. There's so much detail and so much interest here and it was a it was a blast to work on. I would absolutely do this again if, if somebody else was interested in taking it as a gift. But yeah, I can't wait for him to see it. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions, if this is a kit that you've worked on yourself. Um, I will... Uh, make sure to include a link to the Google Doc that I have put together where I uh, break down all of the enhancements that I did. So you can look at that if you want to use that as reference when you work on this kit yourself, if it's in your stash or if you're looking to pick it up. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if this is something that you you have in your stash or um, have on a wish list. But uh, once again, this is Astronomer by Miles Pinkney. 105 by 70 centimeter square drill canvas with 66 colors and four ABs. And then I did a number of enhancements to it. So um, yeah, started on January 1st and finished on March 19th. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of it. Otherwise, happy placing. We'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.